hello everyone welcome to this video in this video i am going to show you how you can create free rdp from google cloud in the previous video uh, we have seen how we can uh, get the credits from google cloud for free so if you haven't watched the previous video then do watch it and i will be giving the link of that video in the description and i button so you can watch them so first of all let me open my browser so you can see this is my instagram id and here you can message me if you have any query or any doubts then this is my telegram channel uh, where i post this latest information about my channel and i also post canva premium account in my telegram channel so do join my telegram channel to get canva pro for free uh, so let's start the video so let me open my browser here and one thing you have to notice that i am not using any kind of vpn over here and let me see the credits here so as you can see we have 200 credits for free and using the process uh, from the previous video i have uh, claimed 200 credits for free so if you don't know how to get these credits then do watch the videos in the description and i button and this is the edu email which i have used and if you don't know how to get this edu email then i will be posting uh, the video of how to create this edu email soon in my youtube channel so stay tuned and don't skip any part of the video if you skip then you will not understand properly you will not able to create your rdp so let's start the process so this is my account you can see over here now you can just uh, click here explore so you can see here there are uh, various courses and labs also so from here we will uh, use about two to three labs and i will be giving the link of these labs in the description and in my telegram channel so you can directly access these labs or if you want you can search from here so first of all uh, you can uh, search like this virtual machine so here you can see uh, this one creating a virtual machine so just click there so this link i will be posting in my telegram channel so you can directly access the lab so here you can get about 40 minutes uh, lab that is rdp for free so there are some other labs also which provide uh, rdps for much more time so just click here start lab and here you can just uh, click here launch with one credit as we have 200 credits with us so just click here launch with one credit So now the timer has been started. Now we will just click here open Google Cloud Console. Okay, now we need to uh, sign in with this username. You can see just copy this and paste it over here. It will directly take the email address. And now you can just click here next. Now you need to enter the password. So this is the password, just copy this. and paste it over here then then click next then click i understand so this is the dashboard of google cloud so just click here just uh, click here again Con agree and continue okay now we will create our rdp so just click here compute engine 
and go to VM instances. And you can see there are no RDPs created. So we will just create a RDP. Now you can just click here create instance. Now you can give any name here. I am giving this name like byte ideas. Now region you can select any region. So let it be and zone also you can select any zone. So I am using the default options from here. And there are many options available like general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized and so on. So here I am using a 4 GB of RAM RDP and you can also uh, click here and you can change these options according to you. So I am using the preset option and just scroll down. Uh, just see this just click here change and from this option operating system just select windows server and don't change anything uh, let the version be as default and if you want you can change from here but i recommend not to change now just click here select just click here allow http traffic and this also these two options uh, don't change anything just allow these two options and just scroll down and just click here create so you can see our rdp is being created now and i will also show you whether i can uh, able to uh, use that rdp or not so let it be create first so it will take around one minute uh, to create the rdp so you have to wait for some time so you can see our rdp is created now now you can just uh, click this arrow and just click this option like download the rdp file and you can download it to the desktop or anywhere you want and here again uh, just click this arrow and just select this option set windows password so username just note this down just copy it and paste it in a notepad from here because these are the details which you will need to log in to the rdp so we got our username now just click set okay it is showing that you have to wait for 10 minutes for it to be ready so you can just cancel and wait for about 10 minutes then you can just do the same process again to get the password so i am waiting for 10 minutes then again i will start so after some time i am trying again so just click here set windows password now click set okay our password is this one so just copy this and paste it in a notepad now just close this so we have our username and password so just minimize this and this is the downloaded file so just open this file and just click here connect okay we need to enter 
the username and password so don't go for this one uh, this may be the previous one so just click here more choices uh, just click use a different account and just copy the this one just copy the username and paste it then again copy this user uh, this password and paste it here now just click ok just click here yes So you can see our RDP is created now. So you need to just uh, wait for some time uh, to load the RDP. So just close this one. So now we have our RDP. Now let me do a speed check and show you what is the speed of the internet in this RDP. So just search for speed test. So if you have uh, little higher RAM then uh, the RDP will not lag I am using 4 GB of RAM that's why uh, there is a little lag so that's not a problem it is manageable so let us check the speed of the data or speed of the internet so you can just click here go You can check the speed of the RDP here. So the, uh, it is very fast. So I am closing this now. So in this way you can uh, create free RDP from Google. So I am closing the RDP now. So this is the whole process how you can create RDP for free. In the next video I am going to post about how you can create ASU Edu email and actually I posted the video but due to some uh, policies of YouTube the video got removed. Again I will post that video soon in my YouTube channel so stay tuned. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.